WD have always been renowned for making extremely durable hard drives, but now they are branching into the SSD market and one has to wonder, are they any good? Let's find out. Welcome back to Tech City, this is Brian. Before we get on with this review, I'd like to give a big thank you for WD for sending out this SSD for review. And with that being said, I'm coming to you guys today with a review of the new line of blue SSDs, which come in both 2.5 inch and M.2 flavors, Oversider 3 in three different varieties of 250 gigabyte, 500 gigabyte, and 1000 gigabyte models. There's also a green lineup too, though. Today I'll be reviewing the one terabyte blue model, which comes in at around about 255 USD on Amazon or about 435 Australian dollars from the Computer Alliance in Australia. That was about the cheapest I could find it in Oz for. So at this price point, what do you get? Well, looking inside the drive, you get eight 128 gigabyte SanDisk 15 nanometer TLC flashbanks, which house all the data. Then there are two 512 megabyte Micron DDR3 burst banks connected to the 88SS1074 Marvel controller, or as I call it, the Marvelous controller. Included is also a three year warranty and a 400 terabyte endurance and 1.75 million hours mean time before failure rating on this particular model. Also, every drive goes through WD's FIT, functional lab to ensure that it will work with a broad number of desktop and laptop computers. However, there is no hardware level encryption and advertised read and write speeds are 545 megabytes per second read and 525 megabytes per second write. In the real world, the figures were very close to the advertised speeds and it was great to see how consistent the read and writes were when I tested this drive in HD Tune Pro. Comparing it to another SSD I have here, the speeds and especially the consistency were much better and also the Marvel controller was doing its job as always without having any major dips, which means that this drive would serve you great as a temporary high bitrate live recordings drive. Though doing some real world tests with this drive, we could see that it was a tad bit faster than the A-Pace of one terabyte SSD I have here on a raw boot test. And also when it came to booting up a game, this SSD did edge out the other one terabyte by a little bit as well. It is also good to note that it is much faster than a standard hard disk drive, which is to be expected, though keep in mind it isn't an NVMe PCIe drive. And it also of course comes in much cheaper than one. If you want to see how a hard disk drive compares to an SSD versus a PCIe NVMe drive, then I'll put a link in the description below for you guys. Now, continuing on with this review, there are other tools included in the package. For instance, you can download WD's SSD dashboard, which monitors things like the temperature, the drive health, and will let you know if anything is wrong. WD will also be hosting a giveaway for Australians via their Facebook page, which I'll put the link in the description below for, so stay on the lookout for that. So all in all, very solid drive for the money, one that has consistent read and writes, and also boasts good endurance figures, not to mention that Marvel controller on board. Lastly, another cool feature I found with this drive is that it is compatible with OEM version of Acronis clone software, so you don't need to go out and pay anything to use this software if you get this SSD. Anyway guys, that's about it for me today. If you like this video, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below what do you think about WD branching into the SSD market. Would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on that. And also, if you have any questions about the drive that I reviewed here today, then be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below and I will catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.